Hey, Orange One here. So uh, we got a little bit of a um, update video almost, I want to say. Oh, wow, Wade, you just got wrecked there. I honestly wanted to just see how he would uh, fare against that Fogman. It was kind of wasteful, at completely unnecessary combat here. Um, just I kind of wanted to see how long it would take some of these guys to take him out. Um, yeah. Wade, you got wrecked, dude. Well, I mean, you are like a hemp farmer, and you are wearing like rags, so I'm kind of surprised that you even survived that from what we saw at the beginning of the series. I'm actually just curious, what are your stats like? Yeah, I mean, you've pretty much mastered farming. You got a uh, green green thumb, or green hiver finger, whatever it is. I have no idea what you even call that. I suppose you could call it a thumb. Um, in any case, look where Silas is. Silas has returned home. This must be a very strange thing for Silas, I, I would imagine, to come back here. Um, sure, if there's a heavy... No, not gonna get to recruit them. Yeah, basically what we're gonna do in this episode is we're not quite ready to um, go into the end game. Uh, what's going on with Mudstick there? Yeah, there's a Fogman that basically spawned inside of the walls, and now we've got some on the walls. Huh. Okay. That is... I've not seen that before. Where are you guys going to go? Is there, like, any downstairs for them? I don't even know if there's any downstairs for them. That is super weird. Well, they got a long run to go. Or no, there's a little down ramp. Okay. I see. Well, you know what, Blues? Why don't you head over there? We'll try and take these guys out proactively. Oh, actually, no, the, they're going to get shot, probably. No blues, you can, you can stay with them. Uh, tell you what, guys. Stop shooting. Just come down over there. Because you're going to start tagging our own people any minute now. Uh, get you guys kind of heading over there. Oh, Blues, you're actually starting to get hit. Uh, can we fight, please? There we go. Good job, soldiers. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. Uh, Silas, where are you at? I was going to send you back home. Look at what Silas has with him. Um, by the way, we've also started to produce Edge 1 uh, type weapons. Um, we haven't been doing that, that for that long, to be honest, but <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, also, Silas, before I have you head out, I should probably grab uh, someone and just throw them on your back. Um, yeah, let's go get Nosh. Why not, right? Nosh is... Uh... Wait, hold on. What? Wrong base. I, I did not mean to jump all the way over here. I went to grab someone here. The question is, who do I, I take? I mean, basically everyone who's continuing to watch the series is not people in the anthill. I'm not sure who to take. I don't want to take one of my main guards, like one of the turret people. Tell you what, placeholder. You've always been unloved. We're going to take you with us. You gotta come with us to a better place. Um, let's load up his inventory. Actually, is there any backpacks for him to wear? I'm just curious if I have people with backpacks hanging around somewhere around here. Because um, if we could get a backpack, then we could transport more. It does not look like we are gonna be able to get a backpack. Um, my main reason for being a placeholder, actually, you know what is kind of crazy, is Silas is so hungry, like malnourished, that they're actually moving kind of slow. So we might not want to send Silas just quite yet. We might want to um, just heal up a little bit more. Oh, you know what's also really messing with me between Bannerlord in this game? Um, Bannerlord, to change the times, it's one, two, three, four, like the numbers. That changes the units here. And then um, F1, two, three, four changes the... Um, the time. So it's like just totally all jacked, you know? 
Uh, placeholder. We're going to get you to carry some edge type 1 weapons. Honestly, you probably don't need the edge type ones. I just kind of want them because they're awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty awesome combo there. Um, we don't have any of the swords though, unfortunately. What about the armor? Uh, if we've got any black and chain shirts, I'll take those. And it looks like everything else is pretty much uh, maxed out. Any masterwork stuff? No? No. Worth checking though. Uh, that is masterwork. Maybe I could get that for a prince. I think all the pr princes might already have masterwork stuff. Oh look, you actually yourself don't have masterwork stuff equipped. Well, we can easily fix that. And I kind of feel like we should be doing the leg plates. I mean, these look cool, but yeah, we really should have leg plates at this point. Uh, Silas, I'm not sure if I want you to head out just quite yet because you're going to be moving kind of slow right now. I mean, once hunger is no longer an issue, encumbrance effect is, yeah, it's pretty significant. That's kind of annoying because I had wanted to run you over to our base in this episode. And if you're only going 13 miles per hour, you're going to get caught by a uh, fog then. I'm actually shocked that you're you're moving so slow. I mean, you're... Where's your FLX? Your FLX is pretty much leveled up all the way. Yeah, I think we're going to have to come back to him once he's uh, got a little bit more food in his stomach. Oh, and Jazz, where are you at right now? Oh, Jazz. Oh, yeah, I ran Jazz all the way down here. I'm going to do just a little quick save because the game, I, I feel like, almost crashed on me there. Um, Jazz came down here, delivered a bunch of stuff, got burned by acid rain, and is now just kind of hanging out here. And check this out. Reth is now completely cyborg, and um, I believe Igor is as well. Benedict still needs the arms. Um... Yeah, we're, we're getting more cyborgs. Oh, a trill, look at that. You've, you've got yourself some cybernetics. And we're waiting on green fruit, it looks like. That's a shame. Do we have uh, water just kind of sitting around with you? Okay, cool. Um, if trill is hungry, I'm just kind of curious about you guys. You're not all hungry, are you? No, they all seem to be fine. Trill just seems to be a little, little hungry there. Uh, we could switch things up from the Gohan and just do the rice weed. I think we actually just have a ton of rice weed saved up. No, we do not. Never mind. Um, yeah, we're gonna want to tweak some of the stuff by the looks of it. We are making sake though, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see, Jazz. I was going to have maybe i mean you do have a nice right arm and some good stuff here maybe you could give that to someone and then run back um yeah trill has pretty much everything to cyberdize someone else besides an arm okay that looks good to me so we'll have jazz kind of make the run back um near the fog, or near the anthill. I'm not going to have you go all the way there because the pathing's a little borked. Um, yeah, this is this place is pretty much at the point where it's self-sustaining. Besides, you know, the slight food issue. But we have a ton of water. We actually have hemp now as well because we need it to um, have enough power just in case. Oh, it looks like we actually ran out of fuel. Never mind. Maybe I want to get another one of those. I don't know. Uh, let's see, why don't we... Yeah, it's kind of... This is kind of what I've been doing for quite a while, is just kind of waiting. Because, um, unfortunately, with how we've invested our time and effort, um, the brewing does not seem to be giving us that much money. I mean, it's giving a decent amount, but it's not like a ton, you know? Oh, Pet, you have food. Oh, you just ate the last of it. Yeah, poor Trill over here is starving. Um, Fort Monroe, though, you might notice, is completely taken care of. 
hey, why don't I show you that? I'll, I'll fill some time. Yeah, check this out. Fort Monroe here, they've got enough power and they've got enough battery charge. Um, I basically just invested in more of these windmills. Um, I ended up actually improving the wells, which I think was completely unnecessary. Uh, but now we've got tons of iron being made. I think we got another iron refinery going over there. Yeah, so we've got tons of uh, iron. We've got tons of food. Um, as of right now, it looks like... Oh, that's ready to harvest. Huh. Wheat's just sitting there. Yeah, there's... It looks like we've got enough food to have a good production level here. Yeah, we've got tons of green fruit. And you're cooking the rice weed. And also Gohan. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. So I think that we're doing we're doing pretty good. All things considered. We have uh, a base that actually works now. Uh, not enough water, though, apparently. Which is strange, because it looks to me like we have enough. Like, why is that not getting put in there, you know? I don't know if... We, maybe we just need more farmers. I mean, I'm not going to bother with it right now. Like I said, like, this is working, and that works for me. So, yeah. Uh, maybe we could try and recruit someone, though. That is uh, something I'd be willing to do. These guys are just regular drone guards, right? Yes, so we'll talk. Oh, the caravan drone will talk to me. <gasps> No way. Awesome. Now, what do I name you? Honestly, I don't even know what to name people anymore, so I'm just naming them after characters from other series. It's like, I'm just being really lazy, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like this. Um, I'll be able to upload more regularly if I'm doing stuff like this, or if you want me to just kind of cut to... Um, the trying to attack um, Catlon or maybe Holy Nation, then um, I could do that as well, I suppose. Oh man, these are literally all right arms. I remember this. We've had this issue for forever is that left arms just, uh, they get hit. They get hit more often than other stuff, so there's a lot of people asking for them. Uh, that has a lot of robotic components there. A little, uh, a little odd. I'm just curious also with our Robox expert. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I had a sneaking suspicion that was the case. Uh, where is our new our new boy, Rodan? Come over here, Rodan. Gotta get you that new arm. Well, it's nice that our industry has finally gotten to the point where we're able to produce um, robot components well enough and fast enough to support this. Um, that's still going. How's our copper storage? Oh, look, we're pretty much out of copper. I suppose that means we need to send someone then to go get more. Now, I don't know who to send because I honestly have kind of lost track of who has robotic legs now and who would be able to get there quickly. Uh, beef. What are you doing? Oh, you're just sitting at the top. I love the seat. I think it's so cool how we have the seat here. It's kind of a little weird with the robotic leg there, half clipping through, but still kind of cool. Yeah, Beef, I would like you to go, I think, because you got the legs, um, but you do not have a backpack, which is going to be annoying. So, I don't know. I'm kind of split. Let's just do a quick check. I'm sure that we have someone around here who has a backpack on. Yeah, look, Arnold. And Arnold, you might actually be the speedy one that we want to have actually do this job. Oh, and you actually have stuff here. Oh, and there's beef right there. We want to give some of the stuff to. Um, get rid of that. Anything else? No. Cool. We'll dump the weapons here. Oh, look at that armor. We're starting to get to that point where this is actually getting filled up again. Uh, nope, we'll keep the masterwork in here. 
I think we might want to go to... Yeah, we might want to break down some of the specialist stuff. Leave some room for the masterwork. Yeah, we'll do something like that. And then rid of all that. Yeah, I was also thinking like we could try and farm more AI cores to get access to the better cybernetics, but I don't see myself um, doing that. You know, uh, I think I'm just gonna have Arnold do the run, seeing how Arnold already has the backpack on. Sorry, beef. We're gonna go with our our little treacherous uh, hiver here, or were you a traitor? Maybe not. I think you were one of the the um, samurai people that left us. I know that Benedict was, but it was Arnold as well? Because I feel like I named you Arnold Arnold because it's like Benedict Arnold, you know? Like the traitor, not Benedict Cumberbatch, the amazing actor. Um, let's see. I was going to take that backpack and go to the copper mine. Yes. I remember that now. Um, this place actually... we. It's annoying because we're actually generating a fair amount of money here, but there's nowhere to sell it. Like, all that armor is actually worth a fair amount. Also, um, without having, like, Garu or something with larger storage, it doesn't really make sense to try and transport um, the big stuff, like the armor pieces for trade. How are you doing there, Silas? If I look at your speed now... 16. That's that's getting close to what I'd be uh, considering um, having you go on an adventure with. Yeah, I... Th Wait, hold on. What? Plater is dead? Did you guys just shoot Plater? Yeah, they just shot Plater. <sighs> Please don't shoot people. Not nice. Not good for the hive. And now I have a hiver's body to try and find. Thanks. I literally have no idea where this player could be. I might be able to see like a hive limb or something. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't think that there's any chance for us to be able to um, identify this, unfortunately. Or right, find where they got killed. You know, I think we had, like, plate or two anyways, or something. We have a lot of people working on the plates, so I'm not too concerned. I mean, this is where he would be working. So he should be dead around here, and I would like to... Um, whoa, ho ho hold on, what? Who are you attacking? Band of Bones? Oh, okay. Um, guys, again... Please do not shoot. I think he just killed another hiver. 300 something damage to someone. Um, unless everyone heals Galsberg right now, he's gonna die. I think he might even die. Despite it. Oh, what? Did you just get negative 300 damage done to you and survive Galsberg? Dude. 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 For real. Oh, it's because it's a cybernetic limb already. I got it. Cool. Okay. And why are you guys going out here? I do not understand. These are all the Band of Bones, dudes. I'm just double checking also to see if we got Plater. Maybe Plater's on this side of the gate? I don't know. Yeah. It's not going to come back. You have to cut your losses. I know that in-game it took so long for our characters to make the armor and the gear for that dude, but I don't even know if he had, like, the black and chain mail, so it's, it's fine. It's totally fine that he died. <laughs> oh, man. God, you know what's super weird? Is that, um... I have just... Like, 
because I've been playing so much Bannerlord, I went from not enjoying Kenshi to super enjoying playing this. Like, this has been really fun for me. But, uh, one side note on that is that I don't know if it's entertaining to record. You know what I mean? Like, I'm enjoying playing this game, and it's actually kind of like low stress compared to like the Bannerlord where it feels like everyone's constantly about to get crushed by like the Kuzate right now in my game. Oh, that might be spoilers. I, I think I'm going to upload this way ahead of where I'm at with my uh, Bannerlord Let's Play. But like, yeah, it's like, I don't know. This lends itself to talking more, and I feel like I haven't talked very much in my Bannerlord series. I miss talking to you guys. Um, and also, you know, it's been kind of crazy thinking about how long some of you guys have been watching this this series. Um, what are you guys shooting at? Please don't shoot anybody. Uh, Band of Bones, dude. Yeah, you're about to get wrecked. Yeah, it's going to, like, not take very long. There's one of them. Other one's gotta get shot soon, right? Oh, two misses. I guess they can't hit from the other side, yeah. And the bones are now hostile. Yeah, I mean, we have, like, just, like, murdered countless of them as they've tried to come into our house. Um, let's see, Silas, how's your speed now? I think he should be fast enough now. He really should be. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. I'll let you go out and uh, adventure with that. Maybe I'll I'll give you a little bit more food as well. Yeah, a little top up, and then we'll let Silas out, and he can start making his way with those edge weapons um, and placeholder as an additional soldier. And then where's Jazz at? I bet Jazz is most of the way back. Oh, I had this one student named Jasmine, and she went by Jazz. It was like the coolest thing ever. I don't know. And it's maybe it's stereotypical, but she was like also black, and it's like, dude, like, come on. How could you. You can't make a better name for like an African American other than uh, Jazz, which is short for Jasmine. That's like. It's like, okay, you, you've won the name game. <laughs> like, honestly. That's pretty, pretty awesome. I like a good pun, but not like an over-the-top-on-the-nose pun. I mean, I do like those too, but I like like a sneaky pun the most. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, we were going to check on Jazz as well. On um, your adventures. Yeah, I had a sneaking suspicion that you are going to be aimless. Uh, bad teeth. Yeah, you got most of the way there, actually. You're pretty good there, Jazz. Uh, still can't figure that out. Okay, well, let's get you at least into Oakland's Pride. I know it's not a good spot for a Hiver, so I should probably be careful. Man, look at the path that he is taking right there. I swear, like, the people who live in Kenshi are part goat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... They don't have any crossbows that can see me, do they? I think I'm gonna have to, I'm just like looking at the time. I think I'm gonna have to end this episode early. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.